Hello there, and welcome to a late night edition of myself. I am pretty sleepy, I'm pretty calm, this is a stressful week, <laughs> so I want to do something chill. I want to talk about the mangas and the graphic novels that I look forward to buy once this book buying ban year thingy is over, as the title suggests. <laughs> so, in anticipation of being able to buy myself all the things that I want to, and as a kind of mental birthday present, I would like to just <laughs> mentally splurge on the novels, of the, on the graphic novels, the visual novels, that I would just die for. <laughs> for tonight I would like to start with manga, because it's the, the one thing that I've been um, the most into lately, and also the one thing that I bought the latest. And I'm gonna start with uh, Naruto, obviously, like, how can I not? I'm not gonna go into depth, don't worry. This is a massive edition of uh, the first, I don't know, five to seven volumes of the manga. And when I saw this, I felt like I had found the cheat code to life. Because right now, buying Naruto, <laughs> like it was released originally with um, like just buying volume per volume, I would never be able to do that. Not financially, not with the credits that I have to buy books, but this one, <laughs> this is a fucking steal. This cost me six euros, six fucking euros for like six volumes or something. So a euro per volume, basically. I don't know the exact number of volumes in here, by the way, but I do know that it's a bargain and I love to read multiple volumes at once. With every other edition, that would not be possible for me. But when I saw this, I knew exactly that I had to get it. It was just the perfect uh, manga that I could buy myself for this year. And honestly, lately I just discovered that I don't need anything else but Naruto. If there were like no other stories on this planet, I would be completely fine. I am obsessed. We've already established that. It's okay. It's a safe space. If you wonder whether I'm gonna buy Boruto after I finish Naruto, which will be probably a year-long project, um, or a month-long project as I know myself. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm thinking about it, uh, mainly because of one character, and I guess you know which character that is by now if you have followed my channel for some time, you know who that is. Um, other than that, yeah, nostalgia. The other characters that I also care about, but not as much as this one character. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah, I think about it, it is on my list. Now, the next manga of my list, which I've also talked about, is Tokyo Ghoul. I think that is a phenomenal manga so far. I've read, like, the first four volumes and then I ran out of money and credits. Uh, so I can't wait to continue this series. I also heard that it's way better than the anime. I've never watched the anime. Um, but I enjoy the manga. Uh, I don't know how many volumes it has in total. I will put the number somewhere up here. Um, I want to read all of that in the next year. <laughs> then I've also got Orange. Um, so I've got the first two volumes of Orange. Uh, this is a romance manga and I do enjoy it so far, although I have to say I'm not 100% into the main character, the girl that is. Um, she's a bit annoying, like just a tiny bit annoying. And I'm also just mentioning that because I have had a, a little talk with people about that recently. Anyways, not that important. But I would like to finish it. I've heard that it is also very, very recommendable. Um, if you're looking for a romance manga, orange, <laughs> if you haven't read it yet. And then, um, as a conclusion to the series part, I would like to read Monster. Um, Monster is also a manga series that is always <laughs> When you go on, on the internet and you type in like uh, top 10 mangas, top 10 animes, both of the versions are always in people's top 10, which is something that happens very rarely and just intrigued my interest. I think that Monster is more on the darker side, if not to say almost horror. Mm, I'm not 100% sure on that. It sounds like it from the title. And I'm, I'm looking really, really forward to such a manga. And then my bookstore, which doesn't really hold that many mangas except for Naruto, obviously, and Attack on Titan, you know, the, the big titles. Um, 
they had recently uh, had a little manga preview folder where you could just flick through the, the new releases, so to say, or new edition releases, whatever. And basically there was nothing of interest from that, but I was so determined to pick one manga that, <laughs> that I just went with one title and that was Doubt. And I ordered it, like I pre-ordered the new version of it, which was a two-part copy, so the whole series in two volumes. And it was supposed to be released in July. Turns out <laughs> they had a delay and it got postponed until the end of September. So it's not released yet, I don't have the copies, um, I haven't read the manga. Well, now I'd like to move over to the standalone pieces. I would like to further go down the route of horror. Um, and I have started uh, last year with reading Junji Ito and I would like to continue that. So I have, for example, this uh, collection of short stories called Shiver. I would like to get the other two that I know of. I think maybe there are more than those two. Um, but there's one, I think, called Frankenstein, um, and then there's Shatter. Is it Shatter? Probably it's not Shatter. <laughs> what is it called? Um, I can't think of it right now. But anyways, I also would like to read two of his bigger stories, like I've read, uh, for example, Geo, which was more... Uh, disgusting than it was horrifying but, but I would like to read Uzumaki and I would like to read Tomie uh, those two are very very up high on my list and then there's also a manga about cats from Junji Ito and I don't think that it is necessarily a horror manga um, but it is in his art style which was fascinating to me because I cannot detach the art style from horrific things happening in the story. Um, so it's, it was quite a weird feeling looking at the first panels. Now, enough with the mangas. I know, by the way, that the graphic novels and mangas that I read are pretty well known by the majority of graphic novels and, and manga readers. Like, I don't own mind-blowing titles or things that you've never heard of. Probably, but I'm just like simply saying that these are the titles that I would like to read I'm just trying to figure out what I like and at least I know already that I am into the, the Japanese horror um, Or let's say manga horror. I haven't read that many. I haven't read novels <laughs> Of Japanese authors that were from the by the way if you have like a Japanese novel horror recommendation Shout it out, please. <laughs> I need to know. Just write it into the comments as well. Thank you. Um, okay, let's move on to the graphic novels then. Uh, let's start with the one thing that is most obvious, and that is... Actually, that is uh, Heartstopper, because I've just talked about it. That is the most obvious. I have read the first three volumes, I own the fourth volume, but there is a fifth one coming out uh, next year. I think, in 2022, and I would like to read it. How about that? Uh, I think I'm gonna follow the series. I don't know how many parts it is supposed to have. Uh, I know it's still ongoing. It doesn't feel finished, at least yet. Uh, there are uh, major topics that haven't been discussed before, and there are also some issues that are building up, that are, like just building up. Uh, they've just started to, to face the surface of the characters. And I don't know, I don't, I, it doesn't feel like it's close to finishing. So even with the next part, with the fifth part, I don't feel like that is going to be the ending. Um, other than that, I do want to read, or I do want to continue reading uh, The Sandman. <laughs> like um, The Sandman graphic novels by Neil Gaiman, obviously. Because how can I call myself a fan of Neil Gaiman without having read The Sandman? Like the thing that literally made him famous or made him known or whatever. <laughs> made him him. <laughs> I don't know, I do own the second volume, but when I read the first one, I was like, I need to get at least three volumes at a time so that I can just continue reading. <laughs> like, I cannot stop for, um, for a longer period of time in between the volumes because I will forget 
what it is going like what it's about like with this one for example already too much time has passed since i read it i think i read it two years ago and i thought it was phenomenal like i really really loved it um i also didn't think that i wouldn't love it but i was skeptical whether i would like it as much but this is a straight five out of five for me and i couldn't wait to read the other volumes but at that time i only had money for the first volume i still only have money for it I don't have money. <laughs> but it's coming on to my list um, of what I would like to read next year because we do have Christmas, but who knows. Um, yeah, that is on my list. That's all I want to say. <laughs> I'm talking so much bullshit right now. Anyways, uh, I also do have uh, Fables, which I started also a while ago because of, believe it or not, the, <laughs> the video game the Wolf Among Us, like this telltale game, if you remember it, this kind of choose your own uh, destiny thing. And I would like to continue reading those, although I was only mediocrely enjoying them. Uh, I remember that I felt like there was a lot of missed potential and a bit too little plot development, if that makes sense. I don't... I've... I don't know, I wasn't too happy with how the story went down, let's say there. Miss Potential, Miss Potential, that, that's, that fits it. And then, uh, finally, as like my last comic uh, and a conclusion, I would like to read the V for Vendetta. <laughs> I've never really had the desire for reading this, but then I saw Mason's video on the audio version of the graphic novel, and that just was such a phenomenal review that got me so interested in the graphic novel. I'm definitely gonna check it out. Uh, so I'm gonna also link Mason's video down below if you're interested in his review. It's a bomb review. And by the way, if uh, anyone also cares, there's going to be, or there is already, not going to be, there is already um, an audio version of The Sandman. So. If anyone would like to listen to that in audio format, I think it's available on Audible, if I am correct. I really hate to advertise Audible, but I don't want anyone, if they would like to, to miss out on the opportunity to listen to um, this graphic novel in audio form. So, with that said, thank you for having this quite chill time with me and if that wasn't quite your topic I hope that you can forgive me and I will see you next week with a not graphic novel related topic hopefully <laughs> I haven't planned anything so that's why I can't be too sure so anyways thanks so much for watching if you came that far and I will see you at another time in another video